Most of you who love Nigeria men, have you asked yourself what is the things that make Nigeria men what they are and every other women in nation, in other nations, begin to love the Nigeria men? That is what I'm about to debunk to you because as a Nigerian, it is in my, in my capacity and in my capability or perimeter to tell you exactly why Nigeria men, why we are what we are, and you see that most Nigeria men tend to outstand or outshine in many fields that they find themselves in the world. Welcome everyone. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do subscribe to the channel because I am the man of thought. I am the villain of truth and aka the Black Panther of Nigeria. I want to debunk to a lot of people today why Nigerian men are being appreciated around the world. And the reason behind this is to make us understand the Nigerian men rather than us idolizing them. Let us understand what makes them what they are. And as a Nigerian man, I am born and brought up in Nigeria and I love Nigeria and I still live in Nigeria for countless of years. Most of us have been able to succeed regardless of the hardship of our country. Now you will need to remember this before you start talking about how oh, Nigerian men are this. Remember that a few years, couple of years ago, everybody was saying Nigerian men are, are, are criminals, Nigerian men are, are um, what do we call it? You say Nigerian men are Yahoo boys and we have all kind of bad image. And to date, it is also obvious that in many European countries, yes, they still have some issues with the Nigerian men and that is normal for us. We do not give a damn about how you see. But you always realize that at the end of the day, a lot of women are gravitating towards the Nigerian men and they love us for who we are, for exactly what we are. And let me explain to you the secret behind it. First of all, the secrets behind Nigerian men, why they are who they are and why they present themselves to the world exactly how they do is basically because this particular thing is in their head ever since they were little. Confidence has been built in the mind of an average Nigerian man since when he was a child. And so Nigerian men have what we call strong sense of identity. Now what do, you, do we mean by the word strong sense of identity? It simply means that a man identifies that he is a man. When I am born, the name that I'm being attributed to as a man is different from the name they give to a woman. Now what do I mean by this? In the idea of the naming of a child as an African child, they always name us to represent strength, they always name us to represent protector, they also um, name us to represent provider. For example, my name is Kola Omojulubu Eimu. Now, Kola Wale simply means as a man bringing a wealth into the house. Let's just say bringing wealth into the house. So it gives a, a mindset as a child that I am supposed to be of a success to my to my parents or as a success to my family or as a success to my fam to my extended family or whatever they have to be. This is already in the mind. As um, a lady, we give them soft name names as beauty names that represent femininity and the rest of it. We don't give women names of um, of uh, masculinity, we give women the name that is suitable. No, we can't call a, a female in Nigeria, for example, we can't call a female Kamala Harris. Kamala looks like a strong name to us. We look for something like Fumbi, Fumbi that means something that is given to me to take care of, to nurture. And so these are feminine nine names, and the man will represent strength, like you can hear Aki and all those kind of things. These are what of the things that we have. And so while we were little children, we were being differentiated in the sense that we understand that we are men and they are women. There are only two genders in the idea of Africans, which is men and women. And in the idea of us, we are not trying to equalize in the culture of Africans that men and women are equal. In African culture, men and women are not equal. We are different and we have a role to play and the role is to be compatible. That is what we are. Unlike many um, states or many places where they say men and women are the same, men and women are equal. And I always tell people this, for you to even have the effrontery or the mindset to say that men and the women are the same. Now, it's simply because it is obvious that they are not the same. You just want them to be the same. And in that, giving such a definition, you are most likely going to reduce the man so they will be equal with the woman and you have to increase the woman in certain area to balance both of them 
in the african way we are not trying to balance the man and the woman we are trying to see the strength of the man and the strength of the woman the weakness of the man and the weakness of the woman we find a way to bring them to become compatible we are not trying to make sure that they both operate on the same level no because the strength of a man is not the strength of a woman and the strength of a woman is not the strength of a man and when we see the strength of our women it becomes very beautiful and idolized by the men and when the women are flourishing in their own part in what they are capable of doing it helps the african man also to to dominate in his field and they will be appreciated by the woman so our identity as a man has never been tarnished because we are told that we are a man and a man represents strength man represents order man represents protector and man represents provider since when we we're little and this is something that might not be that um when you look at the education system of most other countries it is a little bit different in our culture and traditions we know ourselves to be this and so the next one is the pride in heritage now before i talk about the pride in heritage about the african nigerian man specifically i am always surprised when i see um, nigerians themselves who travel to the western culture who see negative things about nigeria i'm always amazed and they surprise me in one way or the other because uh, a natural nigeria that does not have the mentality of colonial mentality that means colonization mentality does not bring down the people or they do, does not bring down his nation or where he came out from because nigeria represents our roots in fact the soil represents our roots where we came from that's where we feed from that's where we grow that's how we have the sense of who we are that's how we have the pride in our identity and so when i see certain people who move to the western culture simply because certain things are not working perfectly in nigeria and they begin to say negative things about nigeria it amazes me and i see those people as those who have colonization mentality because in the african way we are proud of who we are regardless of our situations regardless of our challenges we are proud in our heritage we have pride in our heritage and when you look at the 36 states that are in nigeria calabar are not trying to be like a Igbo. Igbo are not trying to be like a delta delta are not trying to be like anything and look at the culture and the traditions an average yoruba man is not trying in any ceremony would not pretend to dress like an Igbo man an Igbo man is not trying to dress like a yoruba man all of them are just who they are they are so proud of themselves and they have pride in their heritage that we want to represent where we came from within the country and we and that gives us a sense of who we are that regardless of where we come from regardless of our imperfections we need to be proud of who we are and we should understand that it is a god given talent or god given gift to us and we have to nourish it in the yoruba language we say what they say unwanina nani unwanina nani simply means it is what is given to us that we appreciate so if you cannot appreciate what has been given to you you cannot unless what you have to become great in life and that is one of the things about the african spirit or the nigerian spirit as a whole there's a pride in the heritage of every nigeria within the 36 states you can see the same thing appear itself in the life of very dark man when he was talking to the um, house of rep the same thing now the next one i'm going to talk about is we celebrate our achievements now there's a there's a mentality about the success of an average nigerian person and which is like you have to be a man you have to be successful you have to be a protector you have to be a provider now some of them are also successful without necessarily becoming successful in the financial space or being an entrepreneur because entrepreneurship spirit is what an average nigerian man actually have but the problem is that the system is having some kind of issues but one thing we do is this whenever we see people who are successful in what they do we appreciate them and we celebrate them and this is to encourage the younger people and those who are also striving to become successful to look into those things and desire for them to be su successful and we flash these things in our in our houses and then when you see some of the educated the real educated people who have traveled out of the country who are not uh, indoctrinated because the indoctrinated ones are the ones who will say nigeria is an animal kingdom and they forget that in the kingdom of an animal and if you come out of the kingdom of an animal that actually makes you an animal the ones who are actually educated you will realize that when they succeed outside the country or they make it in any way they bring it back to nigeria and they want to celebrate themselves and you can see the life in the mind of israel adesonia 
one person who tends to be a ufc fighter you can also see in Anthony joshua which tends to be one of a great boxer sorry for the fact that he has been knocked out by um, daniel dubois but at the end of the day we celebrate our success and that inspires every other generation to succeed and in fact everybody will say this nigerians if you put us in anywhere we can succeed anywhere but i'm just saying these are the three basic things that nigerian men have that make them succeed in everything now there are other other plat um, other things i would mention of why nigerian men are who they are and the purpose behind all this that i'm discussing is so that you can encourage your men also to be men that you are going to idolize because nigerian men is not enough for all the women in the world regardless of the fact that we are we are being idolized and we are being wanted by a lot of people in the world people do not care if you are married or you're not so my aim on this conversation is to make sure that people get educated and you can start building your relationship so your men can also be men that you love and the men that you respect unlike um, a lot of people who will say oh our men are not shit even african women who be saying their men are nothing but they want the nigerian men you have need to have certain understanding of why they are what they are and including the men also you need to open your mind to learn certain things about the nigerian men so you also when you represent what a nigerian man represent i'm not saying you try to be like a nigerian i'm saying there are basic things that you need to have and when you have those things you will be idolized by a lot of women with that being said there are other um subjects i'm going to touch on under this particular um um thing i'm talking about or this subject i'm talking about i don't have too many english in my mouth with that being said, um, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel because next time I'm going to be publishing more reasons why Nigerian men are what they are. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe one more time, like, share, and distribute to all the people. Uh, conglomerate Nigerian men because, ha! Ah, so, do you know the meaning? I don't even know what I just said. But in fact, hope to talk to you guys in the next one. Um, see you later, adios, amigos. Bye bye for now. When you are revolutionary and you t talk the truth, people will come and slap you down. Then you talk the truth again, they lock you in jail. Them never hear anything at all. Then go here, pansa pansa. When you are revolutionary and you t talk the truth, people will come and slap you down. Then you talk the truth again, they lock you in jail. Them never hear anything at all. Then go here, pansa pansa.